guys welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to revise biology paper one pre kcc examination so let us start the scientific name for french bean is fasciolus vulgaris i will start by explaining this method of naming so this method is called let me binomial nomenclature where by means two nominal name nomenclature system of naming so this is just giving uh, an organism two scientific names so fasciolus represents the genus let me write it down genus g e n u s State two rules followed when giving scientific names to organisms. They include the first letter, which of the genus is always capitalized. The second letter of the species is written in small letters. And when handwritten, it should be, the two names should be underlined separately. Uh, function of the mirror uh, the mirror reflects light through the condenser and onto the stage in order to illuminate the specimen under view which organelle will be evident in the skeletal muscle cell so we have to remember that the skeletal muscle cell is responsible for movement so the organelle that will be evident here will be the mitochondrion this is site for respiration the christi the one in blue let me show you let me indicate it this part the blue part here so here in the christi we have the its surface for attachment for respiratory enzymes the palisade cell this is uh, where photosynthesis takes place. So the organelle that will be abundant here will be chloroplasts. So in the chloroplasts, uh, the granum, this is where light stage occurs. And in the stroma, dark stage occurs. A seedling shoot was exposed to unidirectional light as shown below. So unidirectional means light coming from one direction and that source of light is indicated by the arrow so make a drawing of the expected results i'm going to show you using a picture so this is what we expect that the shoot will bend towards the light explain the expected results why did the shoot bend towards the light let me explain using a photo so auxins are very sensitive to light and since they're very sensitive to light they will diffuse away from the source of light and move to the darker side and auxins lead to growth therefore the darker side will grow faster than the side that is well lit and therefore the shoot bends towards light as in the third picture advantages of breathing through the nose than through the mouth so the nose has some hair and this helps to clean the air the air taken in is controlled and any smell in the air is detected name two mineral elements required in the synthesis of chlorophyll so all I want you to remember is that we don't write using symbols. So the elements include magnesium, nitrogen, and iron. Name the part of the leaf that elongates to bring about epigeal germination. So I'm going to explain using a picture. So that part is called the hypocotyl 
let me indicate it using color red let me use purple so it is this part so that's the part that pulls up and that is epigeal while in hypogeal that part that elongates is called epicotyl let me indicate it's this part state the function of amylase in the human body so it digests starch to maltose examples of starch include ugali rice chapati pasta etc name two parts of the elementary canal where amylase is secreted so they include includes your mouth and the duodenum so therefore digestion of starch starts in the mouth name two chemical name two photochemical cells in the retina i'm going to show you by use of a picture so we have two we have the cones and we have the rods and the cone is written without the e we have to remember that it's written without oh it has it has the e cones cones so the cones are represented in blue red and green while the rod is represented in a gray or black so the cones uh, enable you to be able to see during the day and be able to see uh, different colors while the rods enables us to see during the night and you cannot be able to see color so give the function oh, we are here b name one chemical substance and two chemical uh, two mineral ions involved in impulse transmission so the chemical substance is called i have to write it down the the term is a little bit tricky so it's called acetyl a c e t y l c h o l i n e acetyl choline give the function of melanin pigment produced by the skin so the melanin prevents or protects the skin against ultraviolet rays from the sun so what is the importance of saprophytic bacteria in an ecosystem so the saprophytes help to break down dead organism leading to decomposition hence there is recycling of organic materials state one function a uh, state one feature present in the flowers that can be used to distinguish between mon monocotyledonous flower and dicotyledonous flower so it includes so the monocots the flower are in uh, threes while in dicots they are in fours or fives or multiples of fives and in monocots is either in threes or multiples of threes the graph below shows levels of estrogen and progesterone during the human menstrual cycle mark on the graph the curve that represent progesterone so progesterone is the continuous line while estrogen is the dotted line which is the most likely day for ovulation so the likely day is on the 14th so what are fossils so fossils are past materials remains of ancestral forms of organisms that were accidentally preserved in natural occurring materials two limitations that of using fossils as an evidence we have missing links some fossils were destroyed by geological activities 
there is distortion during sedimentation and the other part is there is only partial preservation due to some soft parts decaying. Name the type of skeleton in grasshopper and sheep. So I'm going to help to answer that using the diagram. Uh, so the exoskeleton is found in grasshopper and that means the protective layer is on the outside and it is usually chitinous. While the endoskeleton, the sheep has endoskeleton and endoskeleton means the skeleton is inside as shown in the picture. Name the type of response shown by leaves of mimosa pudica when they fold after being touched. So it's called nasty. Sperm when they swim towards the ovum. It's called chemotaxis. Euglena when they swim towards source of light is called phototaxis. I'm going to write them down. So we have photo taxis. This is A. Spam is um chemo taxis for touching it is napto napto nasty napto nasty give an example of sex linked trait on x chromosome so they include hemophilia and color blindness below is a nucleotide strand identify the type of nucleic acid strand this is the dna let me write it down usually written in capital d n a di let us dioxy something <laughs> forgotten the name so give reason for your answer it is due to the presence of the nitrogenous base thiamine which is represented by t so if it was uh, rna the T will be re replaced by U, Uracil. Write down the complementary base sequence on the other strand. So the other strand will be, let me write it down. Adenine always combines with thiamine. This is also thiamine. Guanine always combines with cytosine. So that's a C. Thiamine combines with adenine. Cytosine always combines with guanine. So T, T, C, A, G. The diagram below shows a stage in cell division. So here you just have to look for the chromosome at this point where they come and attach. So name the stage. The stage is Prophase 1. What is the significance 
of this part this place where the the two chromatids join is called the chiasma or chiasmata in uh, plural singular this part is called chiasma so what is the importance it helps in genetic exchange therefore bringing about variation and that is why you and your siblings do not look the same it's because of this thing this phenomenon differentiate between respiration and respiratory surface so respiration is the chemical breakdown of food in order to release energy while respiratory surface is the surface across which respiratory gases which include oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange stage 2 adaptations of skin of the frog to gaseous exchange so the frog skin is thin in order to allow faster diffusion of gases highly vascularized vascularized just means many blood vessels so it is highly vascularized for fast transportation of gases provides a large surface area for which gaseous exchange will take place the skin of the frog is moist in order for the gases to dissolve in ionic form So whenever we are answering these questions on uh, adaptation we will have to explain the purpose of every adaptation moist is the adaptation what is the function of being moist highly vascularized is an adaptation why is it important to be highly vascularized thin is the adaptation so what is the function of the adaptation A man's urine gave a positive reaction with Benedict solution named the disease he was suffering from we have to remember when we talk of benedict solution we usually use it when you are testing for sugars so this means the man's urine has glucose present in the urine so what is this man suffering from we call it diabetes melitus stage 2 ways in which the symptoms of the conditions can be controlled by injecting insulin and dieting and when you diet you have to reduce the intake of carbohydrates 22 a student collected an organism in the school compound and noted it had a segmented body and a two pairs of legs per body segment so the class is diplopoda stage 2 features the student may have observed so let me give you with a so the diplopoda example is the millipede they are usually herbivores they have cylindrical bodies they have three body parts they have a pair of short antennae and they also have two clumps of eye of many simple eyes simple eyes so we also have chilopoda an example of a chilopoda is centipede and the centipedes are usually um poisonous since they have Uh, the poisonous glands name two structures of gaseous exchange in aquatic plants so we have new we have the pneumatophores and the layman's language we call them the breathing roots we have the cuticle and we have the aronchyma tissues 
what is the effect of contraction of the diaphragm muscle during breathing in? So I'm going to explain. So when the diaphragm muscle relaxes, it takes the dome shape and the volume in the thoracic cavity decreases while it pressure while its pressure increases pushing outside uh, pushing air outside due to atmospheric pressure so that is what happens when that diaphragm muscles um, takes that dome shape but uh, bef even before the diaphragm takes the dome shape we have the intercostal muscles. Now this is out of, this is just revision. So let me show you intercostal muscles. So these are the intercostal, uh, the intercostal muscles. The internal intercostal muscles are the darker shade. Let me see if I can be able to highlight. The darker shade, these parts while the external intercostal muscles is this part, the light-shaded part. 